Hello everybody and welcome back to RoboCop. So I bought the game, uh, I bought it on my Xbox, so I wanted to play some more of it. Uh, I hope you all enjoy it. I I'm enjoying it. I They had me do the first level, so I just did the first level off camera because I was like, you don't need to watch me do that again. So um, we're just going to hop right in. Hopefully you're enjoying and you're having a great day and a uh, happy Halloween. I'm gonna well when this video comes out it's gonna be the day after Halloween so hopefully your Halloween was great and uh yeah let's continue so we have to everyone is dismissed and Lewis I need your report on the TV station incident on the double okay so we have to we have to follow this guy he's gonna do a diagnostic if I remember Damn it, when will this be fixed don't hold your breath OCP isn't looking to spend a dime on our equipment yeah, alright, new objective locked and hold Y to track. Talk to Officer Ramirez. Hold on. Um is there multiple oh my god, there are multiple objectives. Let's do this and then I will work on the locked and loaded one after this. There is my favorite walking talking law enforcement machine. Okay, let's get on it. Alright, let's Diagnose the shit out of me, please, so that I know. Why don't you happens. take a seat for me? Yes. That's a nasty scar. I'd like to see the other guy. Am I right? Huh. You do not trust, trust me. me. Don't mind me. I'll just get this off. Ow. So, here's the deal, Robo. The old man is not happy with your performance. Instead of sending you to the scrap yard, I fight this. He wants us to fix it. Hey, pretty cool boy. Are you sure how I'm going to make the right direction on any ladies? But doesn't it hurt him? Hurt, hurt. Hey, lady, he's a machine. He's legally dead. We can do whatever we want with him. No, madam. It does not hurt me physically. So we're going to equip you with a little monitoring chip. It will do a real-time check of your systems so we can get to the bottom of what the hell is wrong with you. From now on, your performance will be monitored and graded. So better be on your best behavior, huh? The chip is in. Let's see what we have here. So am I going to lose all my abilities or am I just going to now have to be graded? All main objectives completed. Oh, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I did so much better on the first run on PC. Oh well, whatever. Uh, each time you achieve a new level, you see a skill point that you use. Press that. Oh boy. Okay. So zero chip. I think. Ooh, how many? I have two points, so I want a point to that. Always have a point. Uh, I want either a point in com uh, armor, uh, armor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Save current skills. All right, nothing there. Uh huh. Well, I can already see some unwanted activity in your hippocampus. We'll have to keep an eye on it. My hippo what? Other than that, everything seems to be installed correctly. To be sure, let's make a simple test to check that all circuits are in order. What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust. Protect the innocent. Uphold the law. Okay, nothing disturbed. However, like with any new upgrade, I recommend visiting the range to check if you need calibration. Is that everything? Actually, no. Doctor? Oh, yes, sorry. Uh, my name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. I'm a police psychologist. I specialize in dealing with oh, police officers okay. suffering from emotional trauma. Emotional trauma? Might as well talk to the microwave. It hasn't been working properly either. Yeah. OCP wanted to see if you'd be willing to have a talk with me as part of your evaluation. I noticed that a great deal of care has been put into making sure that your mechanical components work. 
However, one aspect of your composition that has been severely neglected is your human side. Your brain. My brain? I agree. If it was up to me, I'd remove it altogether. What do you think, Doctor? Would save us a lot of hassle. Huh. I don't mind the hassle. So what do you say, officer? Is that possibly something that could be of interest to you? I am not sure. Robo, Reed wants everyone in the briefing room at five. It's about the new guy. Excuse me, Dr. Blanche, but I am needed elsewhere. <laughs> but we... We will have the therapy appointment at some point. Well, can't say we didn't try. Everyone get back to whatever the fuck you usually do around here. All right, so my objectives. Uh, let's talk to Officer Ramirez real fast. Just so we can see what these are about. Man, I tell you, it was crazy in that TV station. It's always crazy. Job you, had, you bet. Without him, what we'd all seems be to be the problem? My damn locker won't open. Can you try? I can bake it open. Wait, what is all this shit doing in my locker? They wanted you to be safe out there. Oh my god. Yeah, you guys, very fun. Yay? Alright. I shall report to a shooting range. Now we now let's see how good I am. I've also increase the oh i went the wrong way of course i did um i, I increased the sensitivity so hopefully that'll be better murphy i heard you're scheduled for calibration press the button when you're ready 50 points is what ocp calls a passing grade shouldn't be a problem to you go oh my god Not even 50, huh? All right. Why don't you try again? Let's try that again. All right, cool. Come on. 50. Unless you want to try to break the record. I'll let the eggheads know that you're good to go. There we go. you in the briefing room. All right. So it only took me two times. I'm still not used to the sense that I, I'm more used to the sensitivity on mouse nowadays than I am on keyboard. I, I play uh, all the games I can. No, I just can't do it. There is no way. Murphy, would you give me a hand? Sure. What is the issue? Oh, I have to talk. I, wouldn't, I didn't see the... Thing. I can deal with blood, guts, but puke is a no-go for me. I'll be a sport and move his ass to the drunk tank for me. You've got your special gloves and extra protection, so you shouldn't mind. What, do I just pick him up? Oh my god, I do just, just pick him up. Downstairs. <laughs> I owe you one, Murphy. Oh no, the smell is following you. I'm gonna be sick. No problem. I don't remember getting on a, a roller coaster. <laughs> I ooh. Wait, what? Oh, yes. Look who's back home. Just toss him in one of the empty cells. We will generally put you down. Ah, uh, finally. Home. Gee. Sleep tight. Sleep. Sleep well. All right. Let's see if the if I can get to the briefing room. Let me actually mess with the sensitivity a little bit out. Oh, that's a little bit better. Murphy, could you please help me oh, out? Oh, for here? fudge sakes, what? I'm trying to talk to you, sir. Hello? Brain? Objectives. Two minute complete. Talk to Officer Chessman. Oh, right there. Sure, what is up, sir? What seems to be the problem, Officer? officer? 
Reed is in the briefing room, and I have my hands full. There are so many complaints filing in that I can't keep up. It's getting crazy in here. Could you open up another line and help me? I am here to serve the public trust. Take the spot on the podium. You're a lifesaver, Robo. Oh, okay, right here. This line is open. Please form an orderly queue. Officer, I have a problem. Uh. My neighbors are hostile to work. I think it's because they're jealous of my new dog. Why would they get so worked up every time I take him for a walk? What is his name? He has a beautiful red coat, <laughs> so I call him Fire. He likes to hide, ah. so sometimes I have to yell, Fire! Fire! To find him. Anyway. Can you do something Could about that be, my uh, neighbors? The issue? Okay. Your behavior disrupts public. That's mine. I don't mind paying the price for having the cutest dog in all of Detroit. Next, please. All right. Uh, I, I got something for you, officer. I know where you can find a wanted criminal. Oh my God! Look at that the man's eyes. over there says there's a reward for that information, and I want it. I want details. Are you blind? I'm the guy from that poster, so here I am. Um. Now, give me the money. I will have to detain you. Fine, but I still get the reward, right? You can hope for a reduced sentence. Uh, it's not the reward I was hoping for, but I'll take it. It'll be good to get back to jail. Life is a free man can retire. <laughs> Take him away. Next, please. Officer, I would like to report my son missing. How old is he? He's 24, but he's never been gone for so long without letting me know. How long has it been? Just over two days now. We do not consider an adult missing within 72 hours. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Something's not right. You really need to find him. What is his name and address? I will look into George it. George Elkins, 7706 Orchard Avenue. Let me check. Your son was found dead two hours ago. Uh. What? Oh, no. Well, that's depressing. Thanks for the help, Murphy. All right, now. Oops, sorry, sir. Let's see if I can make it to the briefing room without being pulled again to another side quest. Although I don't mind side quests that much most of the time. Let's see. Poke my head in here. Hello. Nothing in here. All right. So, what's on today's agenda? The agenda is that you sit your ass down and listen. Oh shit. It's no secret that crime has been on the rise ever since what the media has named the new guy in town showed up in the city. The word on the street is that he wants to spend a lot of money in old Detroit, and that has made every gang in the city start advertising their services. We need to find him before things get out of control. Where do we look? Our best bet is to see if he made contact with the torch heads. Robo, I want you to start by checking the arcade downtown. It's become a high activity area for punks. Understood. Everyone else, keep your eyes open. Any questions? Any word on Briggs? What happened to Briggs? He's been missing since yesterday. Shit. Officer Briggs remains missing. That's over 24 hours since he's been in contact with anyone here. Are the two cases connected? No reason to assume so. But if anyone finds Briggs informant, we might learn something new. All right, now get out there. All right. Yes. You go ahead, partner. I need to write this report, and there's something else I need to do first. You got it, ma'am. I shall continue. All right, so I have to go down. I think? Question mark? Do I get to drive a car? Oh, God, do I get to drive a car? <laughs> I do get to drive a car. I'm sorry for everyone. Ready for you, Robo. Go get him. 
Please tell me I don't have to drive. Oh, I'm not good at driving. Yes. Oh man, it's been fun. I've, I've, I know that not, it, this will not be everyone's cup of tea, both gameplay and graphics wise. But I, I like the, I like the movies. I like, I like, apparently, I can say I like more. But I'm enjoying it. Uh, definitely, I do have some complaints, but that's, I can't tell if that's more operator error or. You came to clean up this city, didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it all, all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. I cannot. That's his unacceptable parameter. I love the 80s here. I'll have to rewatch this movie. The first one. Maybe not so much the other ones. Apparently, I was just reading the other day that um, when they were making this movie, there was a. It's getting colder. Now we don't have anything for the fire. Uh, how was I supposed to know someone would steal our old tires? Let's just see. Oh. Um. What I was gonna say is, I I remember uh, I was just reading something the other day about this movie apparently there was a city or a street or something in detroit that they filmed in and uh that was gonna be uh well, it was either detroit or dallas one of the d states i can't or cities i can't remember and apparently they were uh hey robo can you help me out uh, here be a man pig why make such a big deal sure what's up but uh apparently they were going to demolish the the street and they just let the people film How it. How can I assist you, officer? I'm trying to catch this one shifty dealer. This guy steals nuke from other pushers to sell it at half price. This dope head buys from him but won't tell me his whereabouts. I don't know any dealer. You were carrying for three different pushers, so you either like to walk for miles to buy nuke or you appreciate a discount. Don't take it out on me because the guy broke your nose. As you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate. Do not worry. According to my directives, there are several ways to convince him to cooperate. I, I ain't gonna let it reprogram my brain. We can talk, but don't let it drill into my head, okay? The guy's name's Maurice, but I don't know where to find him. I always arrange a place over a payphone. I'll give you the number. Let's hope it works. The dealer knows where the others hide their stash. We could collect nuke from the whole neighborhood if we get to him. I will take care of it. Hell yeah. But you need to find a payphone first. Try near the supermarket. I think at least one of them hasn't been smashed by vandals yet. Oh my god. There's a payphone right here. Unless it's been smashed. It has been broken. Unfortunate. Nice shiny armor up, No. Sir. No, I do not. No, thank you, ma'am. I think I was married at one point. <laughs> at least in the game, I was married. Or movie. I don't <laughs> And she takes off her top and says, Hey, this is a private conversation, pig. That's rude. Excuse me. Um, let's see. I see. Let's climb this ladder. Although I don't think the ladder would be able to hold my weight. Because Robocop is a big boy. He's a big beefy boy. You see that guy down there? He's an asshole. Which guy? I see a couple guys. Oh my god. Night vision. Stolen items found. Uh, sorry that I'm not talking so much. I'm also trying to concentrate and see. We oh, I thought I could slide down. Unfortunate. But let's see here. Area. Let's see. They said by the supermarket. Oot. 
do to do. The discount dealer. Arcade ladder. Another arc ladder. Uh let's see. Find a working phone booth. Okay, find a phone booth. Can I just kick this door in and be like, is there a phone booth outside? Or inside rather? Give me your phone booth. Uh, it's kind of interesting that I remember phone booths. And I used a couple before they kind of got all, you know, uh, removed. I heard your daughter was promoted to executive, huh? Why not ask her for help? I'd rather ask the devil. My daughter is called... Evening, officer. Hello, sir. May I borrow your phone? Oh, right. Pay phone only. What is this? If I catch any of you dope heads watching Jelly Beans or Marvels, just forget. Oh, oh, that's not good. Tell me the truth. Are we, poor? we are indeed poor. Dad, tired of your kids asking oh, what is this? As a police officer, you can issue tickets. Oh. Just want to relax after a long day of Scanning meter. Violation. Parking meter has Give expired. Me my I'm sorry, what? Someone For some to learn how not to lose the, the track of time, he's asking to if learn anyone how found not it. to lose their money. All right, I am upholding the law. Ooh, let's see. Let's just call the drug dealer. What is this, Maurice? Listen, man, I'm really swamped with the laundry right now, so make it quick. Uh, Could you advise me how a person who would like to try nuke should go about it? You're hoping to get your first bag for free? No way! I'm selling at half price anyway! But wait! Your voice. No. You sound like... I am not RoboCop. A future happy customer. Fucking RoboCop! You wanna bust me? Why don't you do a better job of finding guys who vandalize phone booths? I'm losing customers because they can't find working payphone <laughs> in this goddamn... What the fuck is it this time? Anybody home? Don't hide, Maurice. Just a friendly visit. You like to do laundry? You should try working at the laundromat instead of violating the basic rules. Robocop, you have to help me! The back of the red building by the supermarket! Apartment 6! There's some guys here. I think they mean business. Hurry. He's on the phone. Address acquired. Oh, I'm telling you, officer. Dumpsters are like a bag of candy. Oh, hey, this was where I was before. Isn't that kind of funny that I was here already before? All right, let's see. Apartment six. Oh, that is actually really sad. Uh oh. Is he except damaged phone? All right, let's see. Um, nuke, nuke. Scan results. There's something right there that's nuke. Maurice, I'm writing you because your phone's always busy, but after what you did, I wouldn't want to be seen with you anyway. Scoot wouldn't mind you stealing if you if you got us cut. Oh, what is this? Maurice's laundry schedule. All right, random. Oh, the TV got smashed. Much sad. Uh, let's see here. More nuke. I'll take that. So is this where you... Hey. 
photo of Maurice's family. All right. What am I missing? Uh, probably the things on the floor. Shoe print. Scan. All right. Signs of force entry. Oh, this is cool. You can highlight the, the footprints. I know they said that before, but still. Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh. I didn't see... My bad. I didn't see the little prompt. Listen, guys. I'll never touch your stuff again. I swear. That's not why we're here. So what do you want? The money? I have your money. You only have half of it, and that's the problem. You're selling our product at half price. That makes my customers complain about my prices. It ain't nice, Maurice. Maybe you think that building a customer base by selling your product under its manufacturing costs is a good idea. Under what? But it's not. Such practices are spoiling the market. It's been proven time and time again that such action leads to a reduction of future demand, yours included. Antitrust laws are there for a reason. Shit, Maurice. All we want to say is that you violate the basic rules of the market with your predatory pricing. We can't just go along with that. All right, I was not it's expecting that. It's unfair and unethical. Not to mention illegal. What the fuck? You are under arrest. Come quietly, or this may be the last economics discussion you will ever have. Get him! Don't do that. I would not have waited till I pulled out the gun for my- Unfortunate. Oh shit, man. Why did you do that? What am I gonna sell now? You are under arrest. There are serious charges against you, Maurice. However, you can hope for a reduced sentence if you reveal where these three dealers keep their drugs. Or I can jump into that pile of garbage below. A few bruises is better than jail. Do you know what the likelihood is of surviving that? I know the hood better than you do, cop. So try some different talk. Or I'll jump. <laughs> Um, even if you escape, so does out to get you, you will be safer in prison. I missed our meeting. I was busy, but he doesn't get that. Doing laundry is important to me. It relaxes me. All right. If you cooperate, you can get a job at the prison laundry. You mean I eat and live for free? And I do what I like to do anyway? <sighs> I, I, I feel like I won the lottery, man. I'll tell you where these jerks kept the stuff, but I have to have our deal in writing. He decided to cooperate. All right, cool. Yay, me. What a strange side quest that was. This game is so weird. Like, I, I don't know how to describe it. It is a, it is an entertaining shooter. Although, At least it ain't rain. I do have some complaints, like I said earlier, about the way that the, uh, the guns work. But, I mean, I'm sure that's just more me than the actual game. Um, the open worldness is kind of eh. I mean, I wouldn't really say it's open world. It's pretend open world. Oh, crap! Give me back my money, you piece of shit! Alright. Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business. Which I do not. I get lost. 
You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. All right. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Because you don't have a warrant, do you? I could get a warrant. What a douchebag. Do not make me get warrant. All right, enter the basement. Um, if I do that, won't that as won't that be constituted as a crime because I'm breaking and entering? Have you witnessed the owner participating in any criminal activity? Are you kidding me? Half the things I've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade. Let us hear your statement. No way, dude. He might be a douchebag, but if you lock him up, this place will get closed down, and where am I supposed to play hooky then? Um, let's see. Looks like someone should give you... <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't do it. I know you. You don't hurt kids. I could hurt kids. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh as much as it did, but... Scanning in progress. Sl slouching detected irrelevant to... Really? Get really? Alright. Oh, what is this? Expelled gas. Ew. Anything... Can I talk to this person? Nope. All right. Well, really, it was just that one kid, huh? Really don't want to break and enter, if possible. Who is this? Bloodshot eyes caused by sleep deprivation. All right. I know that I'm, I'm should just break down the door. I should have put more points into persuasion, but whatever. Ooh, hello. Uh, suit my business partner recently. Your men started to act, shall we say, unusual. They're questioning each other about what is true. Torch head. All right. Ooh. And this is why you look around, because you get clues and stuff like that. Oh, let's see, anything exciting over here? That's how you leave it out. Alright, I think I've explored enough of the place. Oh, let's go do some uh, breaking and entering. Oh, hello. What is this? A syringe with traces of hinge lubricant. Random, but okay. I feel like there's more than just that one clue. I didn't know you had such amazing colors. And there's not one, but two of you? From now on, I promise, I will cherish you more often. Uh, so oh. Your body readings suggest substance misuse. Oh, man, a real life TJ laser? You are so incredibly shiny. I'm definitely getting more of this stuff. Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my TV hero, so. All right, all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you, as long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke, but I have a great idea. You you could help me sneak into the basement to keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Oh. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! Of course, I am a fan. Ooh, search warrant granted. Is that the ocean? Hell yeah, and that's why you wander around aimlessly and pretend to not be lost. Search warrant. Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. 
I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. <laughs> he did say it. I have the certain warrant, and if you do not comply, I will yeet you into the next dimension. Surrender your weapons. Unfortunate. Oh, I have a chair now. I meant to grab the gun, but you know what? The chair will do. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I should be paying attention. My health is low. Alright, stop him. Oh, hi guys. Oh my god. How many bullets does it take to kill these guys? Well, I mean, if you get a headshot, that's all you need. Hello? <laughs> Same nuke. Tell the buyers to stop using made up names for nuke. Uh, grab nuke for case file. Let's see, anything. Ooh, a pistol. Or a SMG. I don't know why I said pistol, because I'm an idiot. I had a sh my shotgun this entire time. Disappointment. I know I'm I missed stuff, and that's why I'm going back. There's a bit of a, like it's it's I don't know how to describe it, but like when I'm turning with a thing, the pointer is a bit delayed. That's fine. Ooh, hello. I need you. All right. I was in here already. I see a bunch of thingy things. Oh, it's just chairs. Screw you, chair. Although I do like that it has this breakable things that you can grab and stuff. That's cool. Open the door, or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo. Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant. And don't you dare open that door. I'll shoot you. One of you is not a real Torchhead, but just an imitator. I knew there was something off about you. Me, it's you. I always suspected you never went through initiation. Take that back! Or what? <laughs> Shit, you high-headed bastards! <laughs> For fuck's sake, don't shoot! I'm gonna open the door! What a bunch of dumbasses. <laughs> this game is- Tell me, where can I find soot? Straight to business, huh? Looks like you're my type of guy. But even if I wanted to help you, I can't. Only his closest people know his whereabouts. I just distribute his stuff. And to be completely honest, I don't want or need to know more than when the next shipment is coming. Fair enough. You must know the location they mentioned. Tell me where they took the police informant. And if I tell you, what's in it for me? Uh... Does everything you do have to come with a benefit? 
I'm a businessman. That's the only language I speak. How about the value of your life? Who would care more to save it, police or soot? Let's say I'm convinced. Uh. They've taken him to the ghost house. It's Ooh. what they call one of their sites. From what I've gathered, it's that big, burned-down building a bit down the road. Anyway, that's all I know. That will have to suffice for now. Damn straight. Oh boy. You re oh, hello. Open safe. Engineering six required. Can I have you open the safe, please? Uh, oh my god. Three thousand dollars. See, I can't get in the safe. These dumb skulls are dead. Return to street. Alrighty. Stay here. Dispatch. Requesting a squad car. Oh. That's a lot of nuke. They're gonna be like, Jesus Christ, Robocop. Or Murphy. Really went ham on these poor bastards. Come on, turn. I do not like how smoky it is in here. Leave the arcade. Oh. Murphy, this is Reed. Mayor Kuzak just stormed into my office. Apparently, his niece's car has been stolen. Find it. This goes to the top of your priority list. You can start by asking about it at some of the local garages. For the record, it's a blue SUX 6000, registered to Melissa Kuzak. Confirm. Um, I do not know how to save. I'm assuming that this was the end of it. At least this was the save point because I would uh, I would assume since I started the new mission and whatnot. But if not, I'll pick it up right where I left off in the last episode. Hopefully you enjoy it, but I'm going to cut it here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode. Hopefully you had a great Halloween. Bye-bye.